I know it's hard, but you played in arguably the greatest era, the 80s, that we've seen. How would you rank Bad Boy Pistons, Showtime Lakers, the big three Celtics, uh, the Bulls at the tail end, although they didn't win, they were on the they did to you what you had did to the Celtics and the Lakers. They were stalking from an outside position. How would you how would you rank how would you rank the dynasties of the 80s? So uh you you'd have to rank the you know Lakers, Celtics, arguably one or two, you know. Okay. 1A, 1B, depending on, you know, do you like vanilla ice cream or chocolate ice cream? <laughs> but it's still ice cream, you know? Right, right. Um, and in Philly, uh, that period of time with, with Moses and Dr. J, you know, in the 80s, um, you know, you got to give them their, their respect too. Mm -hmm. I think we would probably be, you know, in, in the 80s, uh, we would be somewhere in there as a basketball team. Now, talent-wise, the Lakers, the Celtics, the 76ers, we could not compete with their talent. Mm -hmm. But as a basketball team, as a right. unit, I would venture to say that our basketball team as a unit was just as good as their teams. Okay. However, if you're just breaking it down by talent, we did not have the talent that any of those teams had. But not having the talent is really what made us even more special because we didn't have the luxury that they had. Right. You didn't have all those. I mean, the Lakers are littered with Hall of Famers. They got six or seven. You got, we know about Kareem and Magic and James Worthy and, and Jamal Wilkes and, and, and Bob McAdoo. We, we, we know about those guys. Norm Nixon, was, Norm Nixon was a heck of a player. Also, and you know about the big the big three Celtics, but people don't realize Dennis Johnson was a Finals MVP and a Defensive Player of the Year. Bill Walton, Bill Walton was an MVP. He was a Finals MVP. People don't realize just how good those teams were, and you took them down. And then everybody gonna say, "Well, you know, they got no," but you still beat them. Nobody else beat them, and they were getting old. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't that they were getting old. We were that good. That's what <laughs> and so in. So I, I gave you 86, 87. Those were the right. two best teams. Right. In 87, we had them beat. You did. In 88, we had the Lakers beat. Mm -hmm. So we, we were that good. Right. Now, now, when you look at Philadelphia, the Lakers, and the Celtics, every one of those teams that we just named in the 80s that were champions, all of them had three or four top 50 players on their team. Yeah. Not, not one. They had three or four top yeah. 50 players on yes. their team. Yes. Detroit Pistons, and, and this, is, this is why I say we were a great team. I was the only one as, as a top 50 player on my team. That's how good a that's how good a unit we have become to compete against teams that had three or four top fifty players on their team. Yeah, I think the Celtics had like five because the big three, DJ times, and Bill yeah. Walton. Yeah, a couple of times. Now, hey, we, we gonna talk about we gonna Isaiah. You caught people. You caught a lot of criticism, and people say, "Well, he just hating. He just upset." You said Michael wasn't my competition. I never chased Michael. I was chasing Larry and Magic. I was chasing the Celtics and the Lakers because they had what I wanted. Michael never had what I wanted. He was chasing me. I wasn't chasing him. Explain what you mean by that. You know, just head to head, you know, I was dominant over him. Right. You know, when, we, when our teams met, you know, when you go back and you look at until 91, when I, when, I, when I basically had career ending wrist surgery. Right. Up until then, you know, my record against, against, against him and his team, you know, it was, <laughs> it, it, was it really was a competition there. <laughs> and, um, you know, you know and, and most people think like we're, you know, I'm five years older than him, but we're only a year apart, year two year and a half apart. 
-hmm. uh, so, but you know, he just wasn't my competition. Now, Bird. He didn't have anything that you wanted. He didn't have no trophies. No, I, and and like I said, my my focus was Bird, Magic, Dr. J, mm -hmm. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Okay. Those were the guys. Right. I, you know, I don't care what anybody say. You can go back and look at history. Those were the guys. They Dr. were. J, Moses Malone, Larry Bird, Robert Parrish, Kevin McHale, Kareem, Magic, James. Those were the guys. Right. <laughs> Because back then, the Celtics were putting four players on the All-Star team. They have yeah. their three big guys and Dennis Johnson. I'm like, yeah. it, it, the East would look like the Celtics. I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. Is there anybody else in the East? Yeah. Well, there was Milwaukee. Because remember, Milwaukee. Milwaukee was good. They, Terry Cummings. They had uh, 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 Bob Lanier. They had Alvin Robinson. Yeah. They, would, they, would lose, they would lose to the Sixers. Milwaukee would lose to Philadelphia yeah. or Boston. Yep. Seven games. Yep. And that's how good that Milwaukee team was. Yep. I, so, I, 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 remember, I remember like yesterday. Yeah. So Chicago, I mean, and I'm, and I'm from Chicago and I'm from the West Side, but, you know, Jordan, Jordan was, you know, he, he dominated a different era. Right. But if you put Jordan in our era, you know, he, he lost a lot in our era. Right. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official member of Club Shay Shay where we always do something before two something.